Hi everyone, this is Terry. Not too long ago, one of uh, the subscribers asked how to create embossed lettering, for instance, for a towel or something that has nap. So I wanted to show you how I created it. There's probably a couple of ways and all of them may be right, but this is the way that I do it. So the first thing that we want to do is create a shape for the background. And you can use any of these built-in shapes. I'll just use this uh, round rectangle. And if you want to have it to be perfectly symmetrical, you hold the shift key. I don't really want it to be symmetrical, so I'll just drag a box. And once you've done that, then what we want to do is to change the fill stitch to something that will hold down the nap. So there are a couple you can choose from. You can uh, use the net fill, you can use a cross stitch, and we'll just uh, choose the net fill. Once you select the net fill, check your sewing attributes and you want to make sure that uh, under the region sewing that the spacing is small enough that your nap won't come through. So I'll change this to something like, let's make it about two millimeters. You don't want it to be so thick that it, it's heavy on your, your fabric. So this looks good. And I think that I want the outside zigzag to be wider, so I'll change that to three millimeters. Okay, so now that I've done that, it's time for me to go and insert a letter. So I go into the text tools, and what I'm looking for is something that is a block letter. And I like this true type font that's called uh, Swiss 721 Greek. Now, a true type font is based on your own system, so you may have a different font than mine. My last name begins with an M, so I'll go ahead and type an M. And then after I've done that, I can, it really doesn't matter whether this is a satin stitch or what it is, because we're really not going to use this particular uh, stitch out. We're, we will be erasing it after we set everything up. So let's make it large enough. And then I'll move it more towards the center. And you could use the uh, arrange and move it to the middle. But what I find with some of these letters is that I need to just move it to something that visually looks right. So I think this looks pretty good, and I'll leave it at that. Now what you need to do is you need to convert this text to an outline. And the reason you need to do that, if you've tried to knock out the stitches or create a hole, in fact, let me show you that. If, to create a hole, you hold the control key and you select everything, or you could choose select all. And if I choose modify overlap, it, it, I can't do anything. And the reason I can't is because I don't have um, a shape here. What I have is text. So what I need to do is to select that M and make sure I have my black bounding boxes around it and convert it to an outline. Now that I've converted it to an outline, I can go ahead and select all of the objects and I want to go back to home and choose modify overlap and set hole sewing. Now that I've selected uh, set hole sewing, let me choose this letter again by clicking off and selecting the letter. And once I selected that letter, what I want to do is I want to set it with a zigzag on the perimeter and I want to set it to no sew in the region. 
And what you see is that you now have the uh, space for the letter and you have the net fill that's going to hold down your nap of your towel and you're ready to go ahead and send this to your machine. Now this is the way that you create it if you have a letter like an M or, or let's say a C. But if you have a letter like a B, it's a little bit different. So let me go back and show you how to do that. So let me get a new page. We won't say this. I'll go ahead and get a shape and it can be any shape. I think this time I'll, I'll choose this um, badge and let's just go ahead and make it wide enough and I want to set up my region I'll choose a cross stitch this time and on my sewing attributes I want that to be 2.0 and let me go ahead and move this design to the center of the screen or the page excuse me by choosing Arrange Move to Center. And now let's enter the text for the B, and I'll use that same font, but we'll go ahead and type the letter B. And once we enter, enter that, we'll go ahead and make this B larger. And we'll move it somewhere in, in the center. Again, this is all based on appearance, what you like. We'll go back and convert this to an outline, and then we will choose to have the zigzag stitch on the outside. And actually, I'm going to leave this as no so first, because the reason I want to do that, I, I just want to create the hole around the letter itself proper. So now I need to choose control and select everything. And I'll go back to the home screen and choose modify overlap. Now what will happen when I do this, I'll get an error message and I want to show you that. And it says an invalid pair was selected. So what I've done in order to uh, create this, what I found that works is I go ahead and select everything again with the control key. I go to modify overlap and choose remove overlap. And once I've done that, it's created the outline around the letter and I'll go back to my properties for my sewing attributes for the uh, letter by clicking off and selecting that B and we'll need to select it and then I'll choose no sew for the region and there you have it. I hope this is helpful to you. I want you to know that you can choose different background fills for your object for instance, uh, one of the things that you might consider is using some of the motif stitches that are built in to the software. If you choose something, though, make sure that you choose something that is small enough that it will hold down the nap of your towel. And I would just scroll through and select something that you like and choose it and then change the size of it so that it's small enough that it will hold down the nap. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy. Thank you.